From Salem Sports Park, it's the Flash Spotlight with goalkeeper Pamela Tazenar. Well, um, I've been playing uh, professionally for almost 11 years, 11 and a half years. And I, I first started playing in the national team when I was uh, 16 years old. And I've been uh, growing up in my game just uh, little by little since then. I've had like many players that I look, look forward, like look up to, to be as good as them. And it's been just, uh, you know, everyone playing, involved in the game. I, I really enjoy watching all the players, even if it's not my position, you know. I, I just, uh, I enjoy watching players uh, wanting to win, competing in the games and having fun. Well, there, there was this time, uh, I was, we were in a game and uh, we have this, like, uh, hurdles from um, football, from American football, behind the goal. And I went to grab a ball that came for a goal kick, but I was looking at the ball and I was running uh, backwards and I just, uh, the things tackled me. <laughs> and I didn't know what was going on and even the referee was almost on the ground laughing and it was really funny. <laughs> Well, I'm glad to say I have a couple, uh, and that was uh, when we qualified for the Olympic Games in 2004 with Mexico, and also playing in the Olympic Games. It was uh, one of the uh, best memories, and qualifying for the World Cup in 2011, also with the national team. Those were my, my favorite moments. <laughs> pasta uh, and just a little bit of salad or something else but mainly pasta. I would just uh, let them know that they should always have fun, try to have fun, uh, but with that uh, try to improve every day. Well I, I listen a lot of um, Spanish music so uh, I like Luis Miguel, Shakira, uh, uh, music in English, uh, I really li like No Doubt, this group, and just a little bit of everything. <laughs> Mexican. <laughs> uh, America. It's a team in Mexico for the first division, men's team. Give me everything tonight. <laughs> I have uh, one sister, one older sister, and two younger brothers. Uh, my older sister is married, and she lives in Mexico. And my two brothers live with my parents down in Mexico also. Uh, we are a really close family, they, they always uh, supported me with everything and uh, they're one of the things I miss most when I'm away for playing soccer and uh, it's a really nice family, very close, uh, even with my grandparents and my uncles and cousins, uh, we're very close and we just enjoy uh, spending time together. My sister's wedding, two years ago. Yeah. It's uh, recent and it was a, a nice moment, happy moment for her and for us. There's a lot of uh, pros and cons for, I think for both leagues. Uh, the good thing there is that they always had the league you know, every year after year, and that league has a lot of teams, which is good because it gets, uh, like, you can play almost all, all year long, and um, it's, it's good for that, but then 
they don't they don't really invest in women's soccer in Spain, so it's been hard for the teams to just stay and have good players in them. And so that's I th I think that's uh, something that it's holding it back. And that's what I really like from the U.S. that uh, a lot of people are involved and interested in women's soccer. And um, of course. Uh, it's a, a great country to play women's soccer because there's a lot of girls and a lot of competition. Um, and it's, it's really good here for, for that reason. And I, I just really hope that this league can, you know, stay alive for, for, for a long time. And then that would be a, a greater league. Well, maybe that I didn't start playing soccer as a goalkeeper until I, I started playing in the national team. I always played uh, as a midfielder or as a forward. And uh, when I went to play against uh, the national team with my team, with my home team, our goalkeeper didn't show up. So since I was the, the tallest one from, from all the team, my coach gave me just a, a pair of gloves and he said, you have to be the goalkeeper, you know? And I was a little sad about it because I really wanted them to see me play, uh, you know, as a forward and scoring goals. Uh, but the funny thing is that m obviously my team couldn't even get close to the goal. So it was good, good for me because I was in our goal and I was getting all these shots. So I really had the opportunity to show up there which I, I didn't think I was even doing, you know. But I think that's, uh, you know, it's uh, a funny story because I would never expected that. And I just, uh, when they asked me to, co to, to come to camp for the next one, uh, it was something new for me because I wasn't a goalkeeper. But I just uh, decided to go for it. And it was the, it's still the game I love. And uh, I just started learning how to be a goalkeeper and I really enjoyed it. I try to go like, I mean, if, if I'm playing away and I'm far from home, like in Europe or something, I would still go there for two or three times a year. But uh, basically I'm, I'm living there, you know, if I'm not playing somewhere else. Night. Macaroni. TV. Beach. Cookies. Chipotle. Tickets for all 2013 home games are available at WNYFlash.com or by calling the Salem Stadium box office at 585-454-KICK.